Hey guys, it's Henry from Eagle Life Football bringing to you a little video today regarding the news of Patrick Vieira sacked as Crystal Palace manager. Well, when I woke up and saw the news, I was shocked to be honest. Um, because Not because I disagreed with the decision, just because I didn't think they'd do it. Um, I thought they'd wait until at least the Leicester game. Um, obviously we've got Arsenal on Sunday now. But um, yeah, a lot of people giving their thoughts. So I thought I'd give mine. Um, a lot of conflicting opinions. Um, but ultimately, I think it's the right call. I mean, no wins in 2023. Um, I know people say, well, look at the games we've played, the fixture list. Um, and yeah, that is a very, um, you know, it's, it's, it's a big factor to why, to why we haven't been getting results. But I still feel like he could have got more out of the players. Um, I still feel his substitutions, his lineups, his tactics just weren't good enough. Um, and I feel like it was just it was just having a really bad effect on the team at the end of the day. Um, it wasn't inspiring confidence in them. They were trying, but you know it something was clearly wrong. Something was clearly wrong because it is it's not right. It's not natural to have so many chances just wasted so casually, you know, so so just you know just just without any any care really it's like they've forgotten how to score uh, yeah it's uh, I, I do feel an, an element of sadness of course I think you know last season was was great for us you know reaching the semi-finals of the FA Cup that was great um, obviously the board have obviously got a, a big part to play in it as well but um, I'm glad that this decision has been made um, and we can get through the Arsenal game now and then start looking for for a, hopefully for a manager you know uh, for, a, for a more permanent manager because I don't think Paddy McCarthy and uh, Darren Powell will be taking it till the end of the season. I don't think so. Um, even if they do somehow pull off a miracle and beat Arsenal. Uh, but yeah. Um, what else to say? Uh, I think Gallagher's been a massive, a massive thing this year. I think we're missing him. I think, you know, as good as the Conga is, he doesn't really give that energy and that dynamism that, that Conan Gallagher gave us. I don't think we really looked for a replacement for him, to be honest. Um, and I think he was a massive part of our success last season. Um, you know, people say that Vieira wasn't backed. I mean, it's true, he wasn't backed and maybe enough, maybe maybe he should have been back more. Uh, but it's really the, it's not just the results, it's the performances, you know, they were lifeless. It, you know, every week we were, we were saying how, how gutless, how spineless, how pathetic they were playing. And it was just draining the life out of the supporters. It's, it's drained the life out of me. I mean, it's been it's been soul destroying, to be honest, watching Palace. Uh, and hopefully that changes now. You know, hopefully this can this can generate a reaction. Hopefully this can you know give the lads maybe a, maybe the kick up kick up the backside they need. Who knows? Um, one thing's for sure is that. We are going to be in a dogfight, um, a really, really challenging scrap for relegation now. Uh, 
I think most of us just really, you know, want to just get past that Arsenal game because, let's face it, we don't have a chance, really. Uh, but, I mean, it'd be nice if just the players just showed some fight in that game, you know, and showed us something to to be hopeful about for the for the crunch fixtures that will that will determine if we stay up or not. But end of the day, we've got to get balls in this goal. That's what football's about. So yeah, it's. Uh, I, I watched um, Steve Parrish's interview with Sky. He said. Uh, he said, one of the things he said was that the players, they were trying, it just wasn't going for him. Um, I kind of think that's a bit of rubbish, to be honest, because I don't really think they were trying. Like, I mean, if that's trying, then, I mean, it's a, it's a very, different de very different definition of trying than uh, I think what most people's is, you know? Uh, but yeah. It's just, it, 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 I think it was just, you can't go 10, you can't go 12 games without a win, you know, you can't go, not only 12 games without a win, uh, four goals this year we scored I believe, and three games without a shot on target, as far as I'm concerned that is unforgivable. Um, that is a stat that will haunt us for the rest of our history, probably. Um, you know, since the data was, since stats have been recording from 03 04, I think it is, no team has managed to go three games without having a shot on target. But trust good old Crystal Palace to change that record. Uh, so that was just embarrassing. I think a big thing that that really lost Vieira, that really lost the confidence from the players, was the Sean Derry incident. Sean Derry is a guy that that bleeds red and blue. You know, he knows what it means to play for this club, and he sacked him for having the the courage to have a go at the players. You know, to say that's not good enough. And that is just, for me, that just highlights, it highlights what Vieira did wrong. You know, he was too soft. You can see that in our performances, we were too soft. And it's way too soft to kick out a guy that loves the club. Um, just for having the balls to say, that that wasn't a good enough performance in whatever game it was. There's been many games. We've just been rubbish, you know? Um, let's see if I can just move out of this, get a little less noise from the traffic. But yeah, I mean, in terms of who we replace him with, that's the million dollar question, isn't it? Uh, I don't really, I can't really think of many names off, off the top of my head. But the good news is, is we got an international break to think about it. So I think it is the right time. We're probably going to lose against Arsenal anyway. But I think something really important um, to bear in mind now is the fans really need to get behind the team and reunite as a fan base now. We need to put our differences aside, put our opinions aside. We all have our own opinions, and that's fine. But at the end of the day, Palace have always relied on their fans to get them through sticky times. And this is no different. So I think that's what I would like to end this video on. Is, uh, excuse me is just get behind the team now, you know? Just get behind the team because the players are going to need us. The team needs us. 
and we need to try and do our part to make sure we're in the Premier League next season. So that's my thoughts. I haven't gone as deep as maybe I could have done because I want to keep this not too long a video. I think, you know, 10 minutes is a decent length for a video, a little, a little over now. So yeah, I think I'm gonna wrap it up there. So over and out, up the palace. Eagles.